When you were a child, time wasn't passing by so fast, isn't it? You would happily remember every time when the seasons change, or when you just started school, or when you're going to your grandparents, or things like that when you were a child. Some, some good times, yeah. But hum, somehow, time just passed now faster, so went back. We were child, time was a lot slower going by, and now it's faster somehow, right? And now you're looking back at the, ma at the month, month, and uh, you're just figuring it out that you did nothing, and 30 days just passed by, and uh, you didn't accomplish your goals, and you didn't make any progress. And the best recipe that I think I found, <laughs> I'm in the forum myself, but what the experience is that you have to make every every day, every hour, every every little bit of time count. This will take in consideration three things, three big things. One is setting up your goals and the goals in general. Two is structure your time, how you structure your time to make the best system to make the faster to accomplish the goal, right? And number three is to be mindful in the present moment, right? First, we have to look at our view about our future products, projects, meaning that the project is your life. It's the best way to see if your plan is the best is to see it from, from another higher ground. So think ahead, think in the future. Think that you are 80 years old, you have all the things that you wanted, you have the kids, you have the family, you have the, the money, you have the freedom, you have right everything that you want. So being 80 years old, it's, it's pretty close to death by statistics, statistics right? So, when you go to the grave, you think you can take all your money, all your freedom, all that is gonna be gone because you're not either alive. So, what will remain is gonna be your kids, what you did, how you were as a person, and uh, again, how you implemented all these things in the world to make the world a better. Alright, based on what I said previously, the four things you have the perspective right now so the first was kids right so you want kids but before kids is gonna be a really good wife before a good, really good wife is gonna be a really good girlfriend or girl that you have a really good connection with and in order to be able to get a high value woman you have to be a high value man so the goal is to be a become a high value man right you have you need or you have a responsibility for your kids to be the so as I said earlier there are four right one two three four that you want to accomplish in your life but this has to be divided in timelines meaning this is gonna be one year five years between 20 and uh, lifelong right so every each four of this is gonna be in four timelines. Going back to examples, you want a girlfriend, so you have to develop yourself in one year. What can you do in one year to develop yourself? That is gonna be an um, a significant change from the past year. You can get in really good shape, and you can be a lot smarter right this is an example you have to do this for every branch after the six things are done you have to make a page and write them down one by one one by one one by one and put that page in your phone on your wallpaper or screen saver on your desktop on your Wall on the of course that's some goals that you consider that were good at a specific time they're gonna change in the past in the future sorry so let's say that in the first year your goal was to accomplish and open a liquor store right but the first eight months <laughs> you did your best you open it 
and you find out that you didn't want a liquor store and you open a coffee shop. Say, I, I lost 18 months of this life or what happened or it's not a good thing. It's a good thing because you didn't waste it, right? You prepared to be a better entrepreneur, to be better of selling, to be better at marketing, to be a better of speaking, to be better of all these things. And then when you're gonna accomplish that, that goal, the next goal, the liquor store, it's not gonna take as long because you have all these skills. You didn't lose time. All right, now that we're done with goal settings, we are gonna move to systems, the system of a goal. A goal is just a point that we want to achieve in the future, right? Let's say that the, po the goal is to make one million dollars. But you need to somehow find a way to make the million dollars. It's not gonna appear there but just by chasing the goal, running towards million dollars. It's not gonna happen. What we bring you to from <laughs> one zero dollars to one million dollars is the exact same thing that's gonna bring you from being skinny to being muscular. The name of the game is to fall in love with the process, which is a combination of doing good habits that you enjoy and being and having a system that will allow you to, to accomplish the goal. Having a business that make you $10,000, right, is not gonna be the same business that's gonna make you 1 million. Sticking with the 10 pounds dumbbell that you start at the beginning is not gonna get the, the hundreds that's gonna give you a physical and the most appealing. This is the system that will change from time to time, step by step, in order to you, for you to accomplish the goal step by step and get there. The system is the combination of all the small type steps. What will keep the system going is the habit that you created for yourself. If you don't enjoy the habit that you created or didn't, didn't even create it because you didn't enjoy it, it's not gonna complete anything for you. So you have to find a way to get pleasure out of it. If you didn't like working out, you could maybe go in the gym with a friend and uh, listening or maybe listening to your favorite music maybe this will change the atmosphere and you'll be able to accomplish your workout this topic is very well presented by james clear which is the author of atomic habits a really good book that i read about three months four months ago and uh, really changed the perspective on some things uh, i really recommend this book uh, it's a must as i said earlier the most important thing that you can do to stop time passing by so fast is to accomplish goal every day to make every day count you're when you, you're gonna do that you're gonna look back on the day and see damn yeah, i really did something today that didn't pass by like it used to be keeping track of time it's very crucial and very important you do want to be focused on writing something for four hours when you know you could do it in, in two, right? You have to make <laughs> the most off of it and write as much as possible in a good manner and uh, quality, right? Here can be applied the 80-20% rule, meaning that 80% of the work can be done in 20% of the time, focused on what is more important and focused on what it makes the most results. All right, let's say that I have to write a script for a video. Instead of just going in and trying to write a script, before that, you use 10 minutes to make some principle and uh, simple ideas for every chapter that you want to, to write because that is gonna save a lot of time if you think about it if you choose to came with the ideas in the same time as you're writing it's not gonna do any good because you're stealing there trying to write and trying to think <laughs> as another chapter idea and uh, you're not gonna do anything because you're thinking and doing two things at the same time timetable is very important for keeping track of things make one and stick to every goal and every hour that you can meaning that if you have to write an essay from 
10 until 11, you're gonna write until 10 to 11, right? You're not gonna write it from 11 to 12 because in that time you have to do something else. This is how you track time of time and you make sure that you everything that is needed in that day to be able to feel accomplished at the end of the day and look back and be proud of what you did. Timetable, as I said before, on your desktop, on your wallpaper, on your wall, everywhere you can that is gonna remind you of what you have to do. Every time is gonna you're gonna do something and you're gonna look at the phone because this is how it's gonna be these days. You're writing something and you just look at the phone to check a new message from the girl, right? And look at it and you see the timetable there. And you think, fuck, I can't do it because I'm focused on the thing right now. I'm gonna accomplish this before I can respond to a message. That's gonna accomplish so much. You don't even think about it, but try it for yourself. One advice that I can give you here is to not be extremely strict with the timetable and the time that you allow yourself to do something. For example, you have something to write for for one hour, you can allow yourself one hour and 15 minutes in case of something in the in the house happens or you have to go to pick up your mother from work, <laughs> something like that, right? But if you have some free time at the end of what you did and what you accomplished, try to do it at the end, not at the beginning, right? Because <laughs> you have to get the, the first thing done. Stay with the eyes on the price and do what's needed to be done. In times like this, a mentor is very needed, it's a must. A mentor is the person that is in the place that you wanted to be at. See, he already saw all the steps and he can help you to get there faster. He can also do and say to you every step that is required to get there. He is gonna make you gain momentum. Momentum is very effective. He's gonna help you to get momentum a lot, a lot faster. Imagine you have a bicycle <laughs> and the shifter is broken or maybe it's only have one gear, the shifter has one gear and uh, it's the gear that it's only used at a higher speed. Imagine taking off the bike on a surface level area. The first 10, 15 steps are gonna be the hardest and you're gonna move slow at the beginning and when you achieve 20, 25 steps, you're gonna gain speed <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot easier to keep going. This is what is momentum. Another thing is that you don't need to rely on motivation. Motivation comes and goes, like <laughs> how Leonardo DiCaprio, the friend of the Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie, Wolf of the Wall Street said, Fugazi, Fugazi, <laughs> I can remember the, the scene. Point is that, Motivation is crap because it's not always there and if you do it only when it's there, you're not gonna get, do anything right in life. What you want to be focused at is require the skill of discipline. This will be a game changer in every aspect because discipline is for overall all the skills. You're not gonna gain discipline in working out and then you're not gonna have discipline in other things because discipline is a skill that you have in all other areas. So try your best to level up your discipline skills by doing things that are hard and you know they are hard but they are really important to do. Imagine that you're on the bed and you're scrolling on TikTok but you have a video to make, a video to publish on YouTube and you're there scrolling and the thought of making a video and you need to make the video comes in your head. If you go straight, you're motivated. If you stay and skip scrolling, you're not motivated. In order to boost this up, you have to, as fast as that thought comes in your head, you just have to jump off the bed and go straight to that. It's gonna be hard at the beginning, all right, like everything. But you have to get in the in the way of things and just go with it. You can start <clears throat> to embrace this discipline by doing less things that are hard and you're gonna level up over time. 
meaning that you go through your kitchen and you see the dishes that are not clean and not washed. You just go there and clean them up. You do this 10 times, it's gonna be a reflex. You're not gonna have dirty dishes anymore, right? And you're gonna move this discipline thing on another one. Maybe your room is already messy and you're gonna clean that up everything every time it's gonna be messy around so it's gonna be clean then it translates to some bigger 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 drinks in the future and uh, it's gonna save you a lot of time just that you get that one thing and you keep going it saves you a lot of time in the beginning and a lot more time in the first thing that will make an incredible Time disruptor, it's destructive is social media consumption. The average <laughs> man people consume about seven hours of internet, and I think uh, the study was about four and a half or five hours of social media a day. Do you consider how much that is like five days a month? <laughs> that you could took a trip to some place that you always wanted to go, but you took you to just wasted all that time in TikTok, right? <laughs> How stupid is it? I suggest that you have to delete almost everything that is not productive for you, and you keep uh, the only the things that you're gonna think that are good for you, meaning that. You can listen to a podcast and multitask it to something like uh, driving, right? You're gonna do the same things, a uh, mindful skill and my mindfulness or something along these lines. And you're not gonna spend that time doing anything that's not productive. At least you're driving from A to B and you're also gaining something in that particular time. The last point is being present bring mindfulness, bringing, being able to not have thoughts in the actions that you do, meaning that I'm speaking right now and I'm trying to not to think about something that happened in the past. What happened in the past is irrelevant because most of the thoughts are just there for pretty much no reason. If you ex experience this having uh, random thoughts in, in class or somewhere Try to pay attention to the <laughs> to the person that is speaking and your mind just goes to another dimension <laughs> you cannot focus. This is... Try this for yourself. You're trying to read a book and you are reading a paragraph and you finish it and your just mind wanders to another dimension. You can't even imagine the time that you spent thinking. <laughs> And the time that went by when you could read another one page or another two pages. If this fog in your brain is disrupting you for everything, for every activity that you want to do, you have to take some action right now and take care of it because it's really important and really taking some time that you dedicate to something that you need to accomplish but you can't because your mind is not focused there and it's gonna require more time to accomplish the same thing because your mind is not focused on one thing it's focused on the things that are in your brain right skill of being mindful will be developed in two ways first it's gonna be you putting yourself in some activities that require you to be mindful for example dancing you can dance and think of anything else if the dance that you did is a new dance for you all right if you then if you did the dance for 20 years and you know every other step your mind is gonna wonder but if you change something every time you step you're gonna be focused there and put your mind into it because you have to pay attention to the other step because it's new another example can be speaking right i'm speaking to to my camera from my phone and i can't wonder to something else because the words is not gonna come out out of my mouth mouth and I will not be able to speak if I'm thinking about anything else and another example can be exercise if you're thinking about the rainbows 
while you are deadlifting, you're not gonna deadlift. You're not gonna be able to. Meditation, <clears throat> it's an exercise for your for your brain. How is meditation done? It's done by being present in the moment, one hundred percent. Right. So, if I'm staying still, like I'm staying right now, the only thing that I can be present about is my position on the on the chair, how I breathe, what I hear, and uh, what I feel. I guess if any of these four things are not in my in my head, then uh, I'm not in a mindful presence, and I have to go back. If I'm, for example, I'm closing my eyes. I'm thinking about how I breathe, how my spine is aligned. Uh, I'm doing this this for one minute. I'm completely engaged with all I do, and uh, one random thought will appear out of nowhere about what I have to do this afternoon. Then I'm not going to be mindful anymore, and then I have to repeat the cycle, going back to being mindful again of my breath, of what I hear, of what I feel. Of where am I? <clears throat> so, this is practically meditation. Right now that we are more almost over, I'm gonna give you some tips on this. All right, the first one is that you have to plan ahead everything that you want to do because, as I said almost at the beginning, it's gonna save you time. Plan every every day, the night before. And one other tip or thing that I can give you is that don't neglect the things that you really enjoy to do. For example, if you really have passion for riding bikes, go for it. This was all.